Wow, guys, this is actually one of those rare moments where I'm sitting down to record and I don't even know what I'm doing. I'm at a loss for words. I honestly have no idea what I'm doing. I think I'm just gonna use the G36C and play some hardcore. Nothing's really going on with Modern Warfare, but I have nothing else to record, so here we are. What is that? It looks like I got punched by a baby. I can feel it. I've got like a gross zit forming there. What a great way to start. We already know this is gonna be the best video ever. Starting off by saying I have no idea what I'm doing and I got a gross zit. Well, I got it. So I'm not gonna lie, I actually did something pretty terrible on Modern Warfare. I kind of wanted to do my own personal little test to see if skill-based matchmaking is real. So yeah, I might have been going around in lobbies and just dying like 40 or 50 times. <laughs> and from what I could tell, it's real, guys. After about five lobbies of just goofing around, I got into matches where people could barely even aim. I don't have any actual footage of it, but I I think it's real. No. I mean, look at that guy. He's not even playing. What, the fuck? what is this feed I'm getting right now? Holy shit, what? Why are they not even playing? Can I reload? Nope. No! Dude, I was actually 18 and 0. I was starting to get a nuke streak going. Yeah, I think it's safe to say that skill-based matchmaking is definitely in this game, and if you reverse boost, you can play against worse people. Now, obviously, it's the wrong thing to do. You really shouldn't reverse boost. And obviously, I can say that the whole test was just for scientific purposes or something, but I'm aware it's wrong and that you're not supposed to do it. But I wanted to go ahead and test it for myself because I wanted to see if it really is true, and it is. My first game on now, I'm going 28 to 3, just destroying everyone. But the whole reason I wanted to try the whole reverse boosting thing and getting into lower skill lobbies was to see how people played differently. In the matches I was tossing, everyone was just camping. It was the same typical bullshit that I constantly run into on here. But as my stats were starting to go down, I noticed that the people in the lower skill lobbies and stuff were running around more and just kind of like, not necessarily using like the most try-hard setups, they weren't camping as much, not leaning as much. It actually kind of felt like a more typical Call of Duty lobby. Not this overly intense camping BS that Modern Warfare is plagued with. And it's really strange too, because I'm one of those people that also just runs in guns. I don't excessively camp, I don't camp for kill streaks. Oh my god. Wow. Oh, he's just laying there? But yeah, when it comes to playstyle in Modern Warfare, I practice what I preach. I just run around. It's just really weird to think that if you're considered to be like a high skill player that you can't play against other people who run around. Like a majority of the high skill players in Modern Warfare are actually just campers. Oh my lord. Oh, there's a split quad. There's someone over here. Damn. Oh, there was. Look at that camping. Oh. No, actually, is he playing? What? Why are there so many AFK players? <laughs> I think a lot of people seem to be going AFK to get Battle Pass, like, tiers and stuff. It's so bad. The Battle Pass stuff isn't that good. Just actually play the game. Maybe people are going AFK so that way they can get killed a lot and lose their KDs as well. It's an even lower effort form of reverse boosting. <laughs> oh my god, there's so many people back here. Look at that. Perfect. Oh my lord. Wait, where are they gonna spawn? Where are they gonna spawn? Come on. Oh, keep it going. No, it's the trickiest thing with this G36C. I'm not using the standard mag. I'm using the one that has only 30 rounds. That way you can actually ADS faster. I have 36 kills. I had half the kills, dude. Let's see, is my KD going up now? It's still at 1.69. Oh, got all the head glitches over here. Good lord. Wait, there's another guy on the ground over there. Free feed. Come on, let's keep it going. Oh my god! What was that feed? That was a seven multi? <laughs> These are definitely the kind of lobbies I'd prefer to be in. <laughs> oh my god. Just in corners. Man, these guys are really good. Holy shit, are you kidding me? What is this? I didn't think I reverse boosted that hard. Now, to be fair, most of these people are actually just AFK. Like, a lot of them are not playing. I don't know why the fuck they're not playing. They should be. At this rate, it's like I'm playing against harmless bots. Oh my. Wow. Okay. The funny thing is that I don't even really care about hitting like these giant feeds and just slaughtering the enemy team. It's just nice being able to play a Modern Warfare lobby without having to sweat your tits off. You can just kind of play casually and still do well and not have to completely try hard the whole game. Wait, hold up. Gotta pop off. Oh no. Ah, oh, fucking. The uh, ah. yeah, other dude shot him. Now, I'm not gonna lie, the feet potential in here is amazing, but I'm just glad the lobbies aren't as sweaty. It really is crazy how drastically skill based matchmaking can affect your experience in this game. Honestly, a lobby like this is a completely different experience from what I'm used to playing. Hold up. In the corner? Oh, I've been playing. 
<laughs> that was excessive. Unbelievable. I've, I've gotten play every single time. I've gotten these giant feeds, lots of kills every game. Just unbelievable. Look at this. This is fucking ridiculous, dude. I think that one might have been a kill chain. But my KD was definitely a little bit lower that game. I feel like the game might be picking up on the fact that I'm destroying these guys. I'm kind of just waiting to be thrown into a sweaty lobby again. It's got to happen eventually. I think I might be in a sweaty one now. Okay, guys. So after three games of doing really well, look at the levels of the people in here. It's completely changed. It's all like max rank people now. And I'm not even max rank for this season of Modern Warfare. I'm, I'm a little worried about this. I think for those last three games, I might have been doing too well. Did you guys hear that robot banging a washing machine? It sounds like the DP-28 from World of War. I can't see. <clears throat> Shot by a fucking teammate. No, dude, I had my aim on. Yeah, I think those three games of doing well is starting to put me into tougher lobbies, which is perfectly fine. Oh, oh my god. Yeah, no, come on! Ah, that's the only thing that kind of sucks about the Holger 26 is that it doesn't have enough damage. Sometimes in hardcore, it just takes too many shots to kill. That could have potentially been a really good feed, though. Especially killing that second story camper. That was really good. Well, we still won by a lot. I had, what? Okay, only 23 kills. The skill-based matchmaking is definitely starting to even out a little bit. I just can't believe how quickly the game, like, seems to adapt to your skill. It's kind of mind-blowing. But then again, there is, like, this whole huge patent that they have for the skill-based matchmaking for Modern Warfare, so it kind of makes sense. I think it might be time to goof around with this thing. Let's put a scope on it. There we go. That's a much better variant of this gun. Right now, I have the default mag on, and I added a sniper scope. So yeah, this should be pretty amazing. Come on. Pretty much the best camper in Modern Warfare. You can't possibly stop me. Ow! Look at him! I'm so good. Oh, quad, quad feed. feed! Was that actually a quad feed? This is fucking sad. Honestly, might have been one of the worst feeds I've ever hit. I need to feed us to lead us that clip. Oh. I'm leaning. I'm mounting. Get my skill back up. That's what skill is, right? Okay, quack scooped. Fuck, dude. <laughs> Those occasional hit markers you get with this gun are so bad. You feel like it should be a one shot, but it's not. It takes multiple shots to kill sometimes. And that can be pretty bad in hardcore. Oh. Get skilled on, kid. In the corner. <laughs> I get killed by a corner camper. Fuck you, kid. <laughs> right in the fucking head. Well, that is another win. I got 20 kills again. Yeah, I think it's pretty much even out at this point. But that's gonna do it for this video. Thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this random video of me using the G36C on Modern Warfare. Skill-based matchmaking in this game is definitely real and it's definitely very strong. And if you guys were curious about the class I was using, this is pretty much what I was using throughout most of the video. It's a pretty good class, but it's even better when you're playing against total scrubs. But with that being said, I really do hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did it and you want to see some more Modern Warfare stuff, make sure to drop a like and I'll see you guys later.